Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this CD cover design. So without much ado, let's get started. Please download these materials in the description below. So the first thing we're going to do is to bring in our subject. I'm going to drag and drop in our subject and I'm going to scale, double click to accept. Now, if you don't have your transform on, go under edit and click on transform and click on scale. So we want to go ahead and take off the background. So click on your layer, go under your property, convert to layers, say yes. And you want to go back and choose remove background. Now Photoshop will take it off for you. Now, the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and set our background. So going back to the resource library, I'm going to drag and drop this image in and I'm going to go ahead to scale it and make it big. So go under filter and you want to go ahead and choose Gaussian blend. Now I have my radius at 14.8. I'm going to go ahead to click OK. And we are going to go back to our resource and I'm going to go ahead and drag in this image and I'm going to go ahead and set it in place like that. So we're going to change the blend mode to soft light and we are going to reduce the opacity. We're going to go and set it up to maybe uh, 27. So you can sort of see it, but it's not too much. So with this set, we want to go ahead and add in a gradient effect. Go to adjustment and add a gradient. Now we want to change the gradient so we have it on the side and you can play with it a little bit more so you have something like this. Now we want to go ahead and click on the options provided. Now at the far end, we want to change the color and we want to set that to black. So we have something like this. I'm going to go ahead to click OK. With this set in place, we want to go ahead and type in our theme. So pick up your font tool and with your foreground as white, we are going to go ahead and set our font to the Sentry Gothic Pro. And I'm going to go ahead to type in Settle. Double click and you can change the style to bold and we are going to go ahead to scale it and make it big and make it fit the background of our subject. So we're going to go back to our resource library and I'm going to drag and drop this image in and we are going to go ahead to scale it so it fits right there. I'm going to double click to accept. Now what I'm going to do is that I want to go ahead and pull this image below so it's on top of my font. You want to hold down options and you want to clip it. So we're going to double click on the font and I'm going to change this font to Dunbar Tall and I'm going to go back to 10 on my image so it's infused to it. Now we want to go ahead and double click on our image because we do want to add a drop shadow effect. So I'm going to just add a little bit of a drop shadow and I'm going to go ahead and increase my distance, a glow, an outer glow. Now I'm going to click on my outer glow so you can see the effect that I have. Notice my opacity is at a 27. My blend mode is on normal and my spread is around 60, size around 43. Notice that I'm using a contour, which is rolling slope. Now with this set, you want to go ahead and click OK. And we are going to click on our image that we infused. And I'm going to add a layer max and pick up my brush tool with my foreground as black. We all know black hides white reveals. And I'm just going to brush over my font a little. We want to go ahead and bring in another image. So I'm going to click on my background image and I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and notice that I also added a bevel and emboss. Clicking on that bevel and emboss, notice my technique is smooth. My depth is at 100, size at 5, and the gloss contour, I'm just using a linear. 
Now I'll go ahead and click OK. So I'm going to go back to my resource and I'm going to drag and drop this image and I'm going to go ahead to scale it like this. Double click to accept. I'm going to drag that and set that below. So we are going to change the blend mode and set that to multiply. And I'm going to add a layer max, pick up my brush tool, flip your foreground to black. We all know black hides white reveals. And I'm just going to paint in some of these areas so that it's not too dark and we still maintain a nice effect. We are going to click back on our image and I'm going to right click on my image and apply layer max. So now it doesn't have any background. Now click back on your layer max and pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. We want to go ahead and erase the bottom of our subject. So our subject sort of blends in with our background. So you can increase your brush by clicking on your left or right bracket. Now we want to go ahead and add in a black gradient effect on the bottom. So click on your top image, go to gradient and go ahead and change the color. We are going to set that to black and I'm going to go ahead to click OK. And you want to click on the far end and you want to set that also to black and go ahead and click OK. Now we want to click on our subject layer because we want to enhance the color. So go up to image adjustment. Make sure you click on the thumbnail of your subject. Go up to image adjustment, brightness and contrast. And we want to increase our contrast to bump up the color. Go ahead and click OK. So we want to go ahead and pick up our font tool and I'm going to choose the Gothic centric and I'm just going to type in double click on the image and go ahead and change the color to white. Now we want to go ahead and also type in her name. So pick up your font tool and this time we want to go ahead and use a different font and this font is the autography and I'm going to go ahead and move the name and set it on the bottom. You can go ahead and scale it and make it smaller. So guys, if you bring in any logo that is in color and you want it to be black and white, all you need to do is that you need to click on the layer, go under your adjustment, add a hue and saturation, hold down options, clip, the hue and saturation only to the layer below and go under your property and take the lightness all the way to 100. So guys, if you also want to turn everything to black, all you have to do is go in the reverse position. I hope this was helpful. So once you bring in your social media handle, we want to go back to our resource and we are going to drag in this lens flare and I'm going to set it up here. We're going to drag to set it in place the way that we want. So with this set, you want to go ahead and you want to make sure that that layer is above. So if that layer is not above, drag it. And when you see the blue line, just release. And we want to change the blend mode of this. Obviously, you don't want any light source on her face. So what we are going to do is you want to make sure the layer is selected, add a layer max, pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. We know black hides, white reveals. So I'm going to reduce my brush using my left or right bracket. Go ahead and paint in the areas that you want to hide. And we are just going to go ahead and dab and also dab in that area. So guys, we would like to go ahead and move our subject. So when you click on your subject, notice that it's picking up the gradient layer. So you want to go ahead and lock it. So click on your padlock and it will lock it for you. Now you can click on your image and if we want to reduce it, we can. Now we can also go ahead and reduce our title a little. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all back. Bye y'all.